a new vlog and uh, yeah first of all as you might probably as you probably have seen on my instagram we are expecting a little girl and uh, oh i'm just super super excited but we were so wrong as you probably also saw in the latest vlog we both thought it was a boy and all my girlfriends also minus two thought it was a boy everyone was so sure about it it was just such a nice surprise that it's a little girl we are expecting but yeah i will talk a bit more about the pregnancy and a bump update and all that a bit later in the vlog because we had a very important mission today we are going to christmas decorate our apartment today and um, oh, i know that for some people in november it is uh, way too early but um, i don't know i just want to have christmas as many weeks as possible of the year and uh, that's what we'll be doing today and also i'm so excited for it because it's the first time we are decorating in this apartment and uh, when we got the apartment from the very beginning this was one of the things that i was the most excited for christmas decorate the living room especially that's what we'll be doing today uh, so let's get the christmas decoration out and also let's get gerard because he is also a christmas fanatic so such a weird thing. What is this? I mean? This is a minimal Christmas tree, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like another thing. <laughs> it was either to put the Christmas tree here, in that corner, or here, so that you kind of like sit around it. Here. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> or here, where the mirror is. Dad really wanted it here. I agree that it would look super nice, but no, we have... bought the mirror. We bought the mirror, so. Gotta change the plan. It's gonna be here. Can you act like you're three? You're like the same height and everything. You'll see. <laughs> yeah. This is what we are working with today. Let's start. But last year I told you that Gerard will always have to lift me up to put the star on Christmas tree. And we just came up with a new family tradition. Now, okay, I came up with a new family tradition is that I'm always really jealous because Gerard is always the one putting the star. And I can't do that because I'm too short. So until we are old and grey, until we can't anymore, I will climb on Gerard to put the star. But um, <laughs> what are you doing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> but with this bump, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sit on his back. So, this year, Sling, it's your mission. Let's go. Let's go. Always tricky, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can put in a clip from yeah. last <laughs> Maybe we can put in a clip from last year how it looked like. I think we tried like three times before we managed. The turn. Good. Very nice. So, I got a little gift for Dad to hang in the. Christmas tree. Doo -doo. Let's give it to him. So when we're in the sofa, you see her. Okay, it's actually beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. Oh, that's good. Very nice. Here we have her, our little girl, kind of upside down, but you get the vibe. <laughs> I thought it was really nice. She's chilling. She's chilling. So since we are talking pregnancy now, I thought I was going to show you my bump in week twenty-five. Here we have her. She is growing. One really annoying thing that is happening, I would say that at least the last two weeks or three weeks is that after lunch, I get so full throughout the whole day. My stomach gets stone hard and I don't feel any hunger, but I eat anyway because I need to eat. And uh, oh, I just hate this feeling because <laughs> as I told you, I love to eat. So if you have any tips of what I can do, Please let me know. Little bumpy in week 25. So here is the Christmas decoration that I will be placing out. Not that much new from last year. You have probably seen this guy before, followed me for a while. Same goes with this tree. But this is new. I got this pillowcase and I thought it was nice also to have during fall. So it doesn't only have to be Christmas. Same goes with this bowl, to be honest. I feel like uh, this goes also all year round. This one is probably the oldest Christmas decoration I have. My mom brought it for me 
from Sweden and I used to have it when I was a little girl in my room during Christmas and I thought it's so so nice I was so happy that she brought it these ones I have also bought I don't really know what I think about them but uh, yeah and this one I got from a girlfriend it's a gingerbread candle so yeah let's place this decoration out this is what just arrived and i am in love i just think it looks so so cozy i don't know if we should put some some of these lights as well in here or maybe it's just enough with two candles what i mean with lights i mean these kind of christmasy lights in there let me know what you guys think but uh, oh, sorry for the mess i have been snacking a bit but yeah, I'm very, very happy with the, the results. So these ones, I think I'm gonna place on the coffee table instead. And add this tree here instead. Dude, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I look one of the, like, um, Christmas TV presenter or something here. I asked you the other day on Instagram. I get so many questions regarding pregnancy and I just asked if you have anything that you want me to bring up in the next vlog. So one question that I get a lot is if I had any pregnancy symptoms during the wedding and no, I did not have a single symptom during the wedding day. I was just so, so lucky because just three, four days after that, I already started to vomit. So. Oh, I was pretty lucky. Another question we get is um, about her name. The thing is that Jared loves... Okay, so I'm gonna tell you. So a couple of years ago, I, I told Jared about this name. This was even maybe before we even planned of uh, trying to have a baby. And I told him like, oh, I, in the future, I, I, what do you think about this name? And he fell in love immediately. He was like, oh, that's such a nice name. And it has so much meaning to us. And uh, yeah, if we ever have a daughter, I would love her to be called that. And the years went by. And now when I got pregnant, this name came up again, obviously, because we I've had a list since like maybe a year ago or something with my favorite names, both boy and girl names. And this name was on the list. And when I told Gerard about all the names that I had, he was like, that's the name. And and then <laughs> and then I was like, ah, I'm not really sure, to be honest. What do you think about this name? And he was like, no, no, no that's the name and he's like super he's so for that name and uh, it's actually a Swedish name that's why I was so shocked that he liked it from the beginning yeah, well I think it's a name in 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 whole Scandinavia to be honest but uh, but yeah it's not as typical as Emily but um, yeah it's just it's a very nice name but I wasn't 100% convinced but he's calling her that all the time and Gerard, <laughs> Gerard's mom has been suing her name on some items now so I guess we can't change it now, but uh, I'm still trying to convince him with one other name, but uh, I think the name is set, but I don't know if we're gonna save it until she's born to, because also so many of my friends that has had babies tells me, yeah, but what if she comes out and she doesn't look like that? And I, and I just thought, but don't you grow into your name? What, how do I look like Emily? There's also blonde Emilys with blue eyes in Sweden. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like you grow into the name no matter what name you're given. But they told me like, hold on it until, she's born if you have another option as well maybe we'll do that maybe i'll tell you i will let you guys know another question is if my acne is gone and yes my skin is finally finally since i think around three weeks ago um, it's finally getting better but it was really bad for a while but i also think it has to do with the heat in barcelona i mean it's still even warm today i think it's like 22 23 degrees outside but i mean this heat that makes you like sweat in the street i feel like as soon as i get sweaty i always get pimples so i don't really know if it was the pregnancy or the heat or maybe just a combination of both and then also eating very unhealthy because i wasn't eating good sort of say i just ate what i felt for and that food was not so healthy but i'm back to feeling more for like really fresh food and vegetables and uh, i'm just trying to eat healthy and i also think that has a lot of impact on my skin we just got a little gift baby stuff no <laughs> i think so yeah Nayeli. it's a swedish brand what oh, is it oh a little baby nest 
Look, Swedish always making sure that it's Swedish. <laughs> so, yeah. You're the ones that put the most flag in the products. <laughs> Look! <laughs> <laughs> I even think that the vagueness has a little, a little. How many things on it? Yeah, I think the, the <laughs> I think the vagueness has a little flag on. You're so careful with the flag. <laughs> Here's the flag as well. Also in the Volvo cars, <laughs> in the city also have the Swedish flag. Thank you. Is she gonna sleep? Have a look at this pattern. It's so nice. Can you zoom in? Can yeah, it's really nice. It's very new, I say. And here is the little carrier. I'm not gonna open this one now, but it's like a carry her around like this. In black, right? Yeah, it's in black. We love black. Apparently, this one is so so good. All my friends were recommending it. It's because it has like clips, like magnetic clips, so it mm. goes so fast. Really nice. So another question that I get a lot is when we are starting to decorate her room. And we just ordered, or Gerard just ordered her furniture. It's gonna arrive one of these weeks. And I promise you, I am gonna vlog when that arrives. I'm also super, super excited for it. And yes, I know, obviously she's not gonna be playing in there in the beginning, but I just feel like it's so nice to also have prepared once she's here so we can just like enjoy that when the day arrives where she can actually play. Also, we ordered like it, I don't know, it's called changing station. I don't know. But we ordered that, a bed, and we're also gonna order a closet. But the bed is gonna actually be in our bedroom in the beginning because we're gonna she's gonna sleep beside us. I also oh, I can jump straight into the next question is how is she gonna sleep? And she's gonna sleep, as I told you, in the bed beside us. Both me and Jad moves a lot, and Jad especially moves so much when he sleeps and he sleeps so so deep, so it's such a risk to have her in the our bed. I got a bit criticized of this on Instagram of people saying yeah but it's so important that she sleeps in your skin and this and I understand that but for us it's, it's a huge risk and I also feel like during the day when she sleeps she can sleep in the carrier like every also every baby is different maybe she doesn't even like to sleep skin to skin. I actually have a friend that her baby hates to sleep on her she only falls asleep when she's completely alone and in silence so every baby is different but we have decided to have her in a crib beside our bed that's what feels the best for us and of course she's gonna get some morning cuddles and of course we're gonna be with her during the day so I think she's gonna be fine by the way we are officially married <laughs> and it's so crazy we were not married before when we got married in June we actually wasn't we weren't married legal uh, but we just got the paper so we are officially a married couple anyway guys and um, we both are gonna clean a bit our apartment I'm also gonna do a pie a bit later because I have some girlfriends coming over tomorrow that I'm I want to invite them to a nice rhabarber pie so it's a bit later now and I'm gonna make the pie I am gonna use rhabarber today and um, just because I have them in the fridge it is more of a summer thing in Sweden a summer pie but I don't know I really felt for some more acid Pie. But you can perfectly use, instead of rabarber if you don't have rabarber, you can also use apples or blueberries. I bought these ones in Barcelona in the Swedish supermarket, so if anyone wants to try, they have it there. So instead of guiding you through step by step, I thought it was easier if I just put the recipe in the description box. And as I told you, if you don't like rabarber or acid, you can just take any other fruit. And I would highly recommend blueberries, it's my after rabarber. Blueberries is my favorite, but also apples. And if you do this version with apples, make sure to also sprinkle some cinnamon over the apples. It's super, super lovely. Maybe that feels a bit more Christmas, but um, oh. we had a bit. I was feeling for it, so it is what it is. And also we did this pie um, this summer with the family. And we did almost one pie every day because people loved it. So yeah, it's a really, really nice pie. As you saw, baby stuff has started to arrive and yeah, I'm just so so excited for it. I mean I'm in month six and I feel like my friends that are even in month four and five has so many things prepared and not me and Jared so it's stressing me a bit but bit by bit it's coming together and oh how is it month six? I just don't I just don't understand it's just so crazy for me time flies but yeah me and Jared by the way has a little list we want to do before she arrives just some restaurants we want to visit and maybe hopefully we can do one or two getaways before she arrives but yeah we will see so I just added some sugar to the rabalde as I told you it's a very very acid um, fruit vegetable so yeah it needs a little bit of a sweetener but yeah I'm just gonna blend this here and then we're gonna continue. And now, please pour the rabarber. What is rabarber? Yo, it's a Swedish thing. I don't know. I knew you wouldn't know. With the sugar? Yeah. Does it have sugar? A tiny bit because it's very acid. <laughs> 
Revolver. Ora il revolver, sto latino. I think it's called the same. So I have just poured the dough over the rabarber and it's going into the oven. Let's try it. I think we have some vanilla ice cream also, so we're gonna try it with that. Let's see what the guy thinks about rabarber. It's good, eh? Mm. I like the acid. I love it. Mm. But it's a must to have it with this type of ice cream. No, we actually have it with vanilla sauce. I love vanilla ice cream. So we have just finished the rabarber pie and it was delicious. I knew that I would, <laughs> would like rabarber pie. But yeah, if you cannot find rabarber, as I told you, blueberries or apples with some cinnamon. But yeah, I am actually gonna change into workout clothes. I'm gonna go on a little evening walk. I'm gonna put on a podcast and just go on a little walk. I try to move a bit every day. I feel so much better when I do that. And um, oh, it, it was just so weird, these five months without working out when you're a person that normally works out quite frequently. So I really try to take advantage of it now when I'm feeling good because who knows how I'm gonna feel in two months. Probably not so motivated with the workout. Maybe I can show you the living room really fast before we say goodbye. It turned out being very, very cozy. I also added some skum tomta here in this bowl that I bought. And over here I added these Christmas trees and my childhood angel that I, oh, I just like it so much. I lighted the candle and I put there. And also Gerard loved the bow, so I think I'm even gonna add a couple of more of them. This is what it looks like.